Tissue membranes. So we're learning about membranes, and there's four different types that we'll cover. Basically, it's just sheets of cells that are typically thin, and they provide a protective covering, and some are more active than others to protect your body. When we look at the different types on the left here, these three, mucus, serous, and cutaneous, these are all epithelial tissue. Remember, four types of tissue in the body. Epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. Synovial is a connective tissue. So where do we see these mucus? It tells you what they're doing. They're actively secreting mucus. And so I'm pointing to the mouth and our respiratory system. But when we think about the trachea and the mucus we build up, we notice it more when we're sick because we build up some of that fluid, that phlegm that's coming up. That's mucus. We'll see mucus being produced in the digestive system. The cells that do this are called goblet cells. So mucus is a secretion that helps coat things and to move things as well, depending on where we're at in the organ. Serous membranes. I have a whole nother video on serous membranes because we talked about body cavities. What lines our body cavities are serous membranes, and they're called serous because they're secreting. So see the next video for that. Cutaneous is referring specifically to the skin. It's the covering. It's the windshield of our body. So these three are epithelial tissue. On the right, when we talk about synovial, this is a connective tissue. And they line our joint cavity. So where bones connect and we have a cavity, we'll see that there's a synovial fluid produced by a synovial membrane that's within a synovial cavity. And that just allows for some of our our joints or articulations where we have a lot more movement to allow for that locomotion, that leverage, that force to occur. So four types of tissue membranes, mucus, serous, cutaneous, and synovial.